Choreography is hard to explain because it doesn't deal with the world of words. And I think that's what makes it so difficult for a general audience to really get a grasp on what dance is. When you enter a space, you're having um, a reaction. You might feel oppressed or scared or you might feel freedom. The type of places where I create shows are all different and I like to think that they really aren't similar to one another. Some are abandoned, some are not what people would usually see as beautiful. And I think that's what's nice, is that we bring people to see a space and then really reinvent its meaning or its beauty and see it in a different way. If I um, think about Descent, it's a beautiful stairwell that's designed by Stanford White. And it's actually a very interesting stairwell architecturally because it doesn't have any columns. And so there's a big hole in the middle and that's where the audience can look down and see all the dancers dancing vertically together. It's beautiful to have a dancer on each floor, and so when they're dancing in unison, it's making this the symmetry of the architecture really come alive. Talking about noir, you're going to come to a parking garage, and then you're, you're going to sit in a car. You hear the radio, you tune into the station, and then you hear the sound from the show, and you're watching like a sort of a noir film from the car that you're sitting in and it's as if you just were going to get your car in the parking and then all of a sudden there's this scene that starts to take place in front of you. Just the parking garage being that sort of tense space that um, you see in movies all the time and it's like that kind of raw scene where you know you're not supposed to see what's going on. It's always where people go and hide or something and it's like this non-space. Not so sexy but it has its sexy side. The Frank Gehry architecture is very spectacular. And usually I'm not drawn to spectacular spaces, but um, I feel like his work particularly is wanting some bodies on it. It's wanting to be tried out. You know, it's like you want to slide down these buildings or something. I often talk about the importance of a performance being live, you get to go there and you get to see a space but also be inside it and it's very different. When I brought people to the McCarran Park Pool in 2005, it was on the edge of being, you know, an extreme sort of far place in Brooklyn to bring people, which it isn't today anymore, it just moved from that place very fast but in 2005 it was still something that people wondered whether we were going to be able to bring that many people to the show, and we did. We had 10,000 people come to the show. <laughs> it's nice to, um, to have access to a very adventurous audience and where people are excited about doing things that are different. And so the, you know, the work that I do lends itself to that. And I want to keep pushing the boundaries of it. Yeah.